As early as 6 a.m. Sunday, March 12, 2023, the doors of the Women's Empowerment and Family Center, Bangem, were flanked open as the two polling stations for the 2023 senatorial elections were hosted by the center. The March 2023 senatorial elections in Kupem Waninguba saw councillors of the three council areas, Bangem, Nguti and Tombel converge in Bangem to perform their civic responsibilities. The two polling stations saw over 100 voters cast their votes in a hitch free voting exercise that kicked off at about 8 a.m., with almost all the voters present. At the end of the voting exercise, Blossom TV sought to get the opinions of some of the voters. The mayors of Bangem and Tombe councils, Mr. Ekungwe Christopher and Madam Gasa Rose, respectively, had these words to say. That, uh, first of all, at the level of the Bangem municipality, as you saw us come in, I led the delegation of my own councillors. We were supposed to be 25, so we have one councillor was eliminated, so we are 24. And all 24 of us came here, and all 24 have effectively voted. So I'm very, very impressed. And it's not only us, I'm also particularly happy that the Tumbel and Uti participated very heavily. So what I can tell you is that all of us have voted. I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. The vote is a civic obligation. So you know any time that you, you realize your obligation, you're supposed to be happy. And, uh, and secondly, I'm happy because around me I'm seeing all my counselors, and I believe that uh, by the end of the day, if they are there, if they are here in Bangem, they came to vote, and I believe that by the end of the day, we're going to bring to, to get the, the score that was expected, which is 100%. To Chief Atabe, these words evenly describe the way he felt after voting. Uh, I think I feel very elated to have uh, performed my civic responsibility. It is uh, both an honor and a privilege to do this because I think it's a major step to contribute in building this nation. The option of administration which uh, the government of Cameroon has taken is that of decentralization. And uh, the senators for whom we came to vote today have a very significant role to play in uh, the decentralization process. And so I think we have contributed our fair share and uh, the moment for campaigns are over. Uh, we have voted for our candidate and we have given her the responsibility to join her voices with the affairs of the Upper House of Parliament to move the decentralization process forward and to develop our community better. We must begin by lauding the initiative for the much she has been able to do thus far. Uh, the very first uh, cry that the Kupi Monibuba man has always had, which is the second, the third, the fourth, and even the fifth, is the issue of roads. I think uh, our division is not linked to any other major town, either Kumba, Loom, Melong, by any very good road. And uh, it is even worse off when we have to talk about uh, the divisional roads that link our different towns, Bangem to Nguti, Bangem to Tombel, and uh, Nguti to Tombel. And so our first cry would be that she should uh, take the issue of roads very seriously. We equally hope that she will get engaged in uh, working with other stakeholders, the mayors of the different towns, the parliamentarians of our two parliamentary constituencies, to be able to bring uh, social amenities. Bangem and Tombel, as well as Nguti, have a major problem of water supply. The water is of good quality, but the supply is grossly insufficient. And so we count on her to work with the mayors to provide this basic social amenity. Many of our children in areas where we have schools do not still have classrooms. And so we hope that uh, she will use this mandate to provide those classrooms. Many of our people still have to trek several kilometers to get to health center, which is a fundamental right of all our citizens. The divisional boss of Elekam Bangem also expressed his own satisfaction after the voting exercise for the senatorial 2023. I'm very, very happy. The way things have taken today, we did everything possible that we have every material on the table. And uh, <clears throat> before yesterday, we had distributed about 90% of the cuts. And today, 
the remaining, the few that remain, about four or five were collected today. And at about uh, 9.30, as I speak, the votes were already, already voted about 80%. So I'm really happy. Mayor Sube Enes, the third deputy mayor of Tombe Council, was also satisfied with the hitch free victory exercise because to him, things will get better from now. I want to look at the country as a whole because uh, development is complementarity. Whatever action the Senate is going to pose has to be complemented by other institutions. But I think that uh, the impression I have is that things are going to ameliorate than yesterday. To get it. So that is what I think is going to happen. And uh, as a, a militant of the ruling party, I think that the ruling party under the leadership of President Bia is going to do everything possible that these institutions are strengthened more than ever before. With 47 voters registered and all 47 voting for the ruling CPDM party at polling station A, the results were 100% and 47 registered voters, with 46 voting at polling station B. For the ruling CPDM party, another 100% result was registered at this police station. This gave a total of 100% for CPDM in Kupemwa Nguba. Thus, Senator Ntube Agnes Ndode, a Pus Njok, was declared the winner for the 2023 senatorial elections in Kupemwa Nguba. For Blossom TV News, I'm Kina, it's again.